Hey guys, welcome back to Practical Printing. I wanted to introduce you to somebody. This is Kona, my chocolate lab here, and uh, today's episode is all about this big knucklehead. So you ready to do this? Let's go. Okay, so as I said, this episode is dedicated to Kona. And to take you back and explain that a little bit more, last spring I was down at the Matter Hackers Meetup event um, right about the time that they were introducing their new Pro Series Nylon. And this stuff felt great. It was, it was flexible. It, it, was, it was durable. Um, it looked fairly easy to print with what I was seeing. And wheels started turning in my head. So let me, let me show you that there. Um, that's, that's the Matter Hackers Blue Pro Series Nylon Filament. And, of course, you can watch Dave show you all the great things about it. But it really is a fun filament or a fun nylon uh, in the fact that it is fairly easy to print compared to some of the other ones. Um, it does have to be dried first. But this got my gears turning. And I came up with the idea of printing out a dog bone. I had seen the Nyla bones in the pet stores for, for Kona, and he likes them and he chews them like crazy. And I thought about, you know, what if I could print out it, my own Nyla bones for him? These things are like 10 bucks a piece, and, you know, he'll go through them in a weekend, right? So I thought about, well, if I got the nylon, why not try to print a Nyla bone? So I found this great model on Thingiverse, and the, the link will be in the comments down below. Um, looks like this was originally done by WebNode back in February of this year. And uh, sure and behold, it's a, um, you know, it's a, it's a dog bone. At the same time, I also had some of this new FDM printing surface material from uh, PO Poly. Um, that market P.O. Poly had given me to try out. Now the stuff I have is the, the white one and the materials are supposed to be very similar in property to PEI sheets. Um, but it's thicker so it goes on a, a bit easier uh, like this with the adhesive already on it. So I figured yeah, try that all at once and we'll see what we can do. So I talked to Matter Hackers. They were able to send me up a roll of the blue Pro Series nylon filament and we went from there. Um, so I grabbed the model off Thingiverse, grabbed the model off Thingiverse, dropped it into the slicer, and knowing this, this was gonna be for, dirt, for a dog and he was gonna chew through it, I wanted it to be fairly heavy duty, but I didn't know exactly where it needed to be. So I started off with doing about a 25% infill, but I used a 0.3 layer height and I used 10, no, I'm sorry, five uh, top and bottom layers and five perimeters, since it's kind of a, a, a circularness to it. Um, slice it like that, send it to the printer. So let's watch that go through, and we'll meet back here and see what that did. Okay, so as you can see, the uh, nine lines stuck great to the PO Poly. Um, we got these nice big fat layers and unfortunately because it's rounded on the bottom just like the top, we did get a little bit of warpage because there wasn't enough surface area um, and the support wasn't able to pull it down. Now theoretically I could have used a raft as well to help with that, but instead what I did was I set up a second print to go and for the second one I lowered the height so I'm actually cutting off about six millimeters, uh, about a quarter inch off the bottom, so that there's a flat surface in it that it doesn't need supports to go. Um, and so it's sitting right on the bed there. Um, so <clears throat> we're gonna wait for that one to finish recording and then we'll, uh, we'll meet back here to uh, talk about it. Okay, so after the first run, fresh off the printer, it's a little bit jagged where the supports came off down here at the bottom. And first couple of layers where it started to warp a bit. Top doesn't look too bad though. But um, we're going to try something. We've, I've seen what Matter Hackers has done with the blowtorch. So uh, 
Let's see if we can fire up the blowtorch and smear that out a little bit to make it a little bit less jagged and safer. Okay, so now that all the printing's done, let me show you the parts and show you the end result and um, kind of show you what Kona did to these things. So this is the second one, if you can see it there. You saw that I blowtorched the first one a little bit. The second one's a little bit rough in some of the areas where um, Kona tried to bite it, but it, he didn't get his teeth into it that bad on this one. You can see the big solid flat surface on this one where it where I cut it down into the bed um, it's, it's a bit of a rough print here and I didn't bother scraping that off too much I was watching Kona play with these the entire time um, I don't know necessarily how food safe I mean I assume nylon is nylon and that they make products for dogs out of nylon so I assume it's safe for dogs that being said, I don't necessarily want them ingesting it either, um, especially strings. In fact, let me show you the second one. So, the, well, actually, this was the first one that we blowtorched. Um, as you can see, we got a little bit of caramelization there or, or burning in from the blowtorch on it. But you can see, kind of see where it's shiny. You can see where it did actually seal down the layers a little bit. However, look what Kona was able to do to it. Those big old choppers of his, he was able to chew right through it and start pulling the layers out. Um, so that's when I kind of pulled the rug out from the project and decided it's probably not best for him to play with these. Definitely not unless somebody's watching. Um, so I think it's a great concept. I don't want to call this experiment a win, but... I think if I could find a way to fuse the layers together more um, so that there's, there's pot less potential for stringing like that, maybe I can uh, print it you know, a little bit hotter so the layers fuse together better. I was printing it at about 270, uh, which was actually a little hotter than MatterHack has recommended. But um, I'll reach out to them and see how far I can push this. If any of you have played with this and, and definitely know a way to, to, to get that so that they're just, you know, dog of his size is not going to chew through it like that or um, be able to, to break the stringing, um, let me know in the comments. I'd, I'd love to try some of your settings on something similar. But anyway, this was a fun experiment for Kona um, and for me to be able to, to get these out to Kona. So if you try this at home, please do make sure that you keep an eye on your pet don't leave them with the toy unattended because you don't really want them swallowing those strings. Um, I'm not a materials expert and the nylon may or may not be safe for them to ingest, but I definitely wouldn't want those strands getting stuck in their throat um, or, or trying to pass out you know, when, they, when they do their doggy business. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Practical Printing. Uh, if you did, please hit the thumbs up down below, and if you're not subscribed, make sure you do so that we can make sure that you're updated when we put new videos out. With that, aloha. We'll see you next time.